Funny cars and dragsters, that's all you ever seem to see on drag racing TV shows. But on this edition of Motorsport People, we're not going to show you any of the nitro burners. We're going to have a look at the most popular class in all of drag racing, Super Gas. The sport of drag racing has always been known for its great variety of innovative racing vehicles. While it's the dragsters that come to mind when drag racing is first mentioned, it's the door slammers, full-bodied, naturally aspirated cars running on gasoline that the real purists hold close to their hearts. And in the 1980s, with the exception of Pro Stock, there isn't a better class to see some dynamite door slammers than in Super Gas. When the Super Gas cars run, you may see anything from an 86 Corvette to a 34 Ford Roadster pull up to the line. Gene Bergstrom is the Division Six Director for the National Hot Rod Association. Gene, why do you think that uh, Super Gas is your most popular class? Well, I think there's probably three uh, distinct reasons. One is the the uh, competition is so close with a heads-up type format where each car leaves uh, together. Secondly is that the cars are fairly easy to build and you can go from exotic to a real expensive car to a fairly inexpensive car and still be competitive. And I think third and, and most important is the variety of cars. You can choose just about any variety of uh, bodied car to compete. So I think those are probably the three basic reasons why Super Gas has taken off with uh, the popularity it has in the last two years. How many cars are you uh, seeing at your uh races? Well, it varies. Uh, of course, we see is from as few as 30 to up to 128 of them competing at one event at a time, so it's a, it's a, it's also a tough com uh, uh, eliminator to compete in because of the amount of cars that compete. So, Where do you see the class going from here? Straight up. It'll grow as it has uh, in the last two years. I think really we just started to scratch the surface. Uh, we're seeing the numbers uh, starting to quadruple and, and where we're having a hard time finding a place to fit them all. So. Uh, I think that the popularity of the class is, is just starting. There's a lot of new people that, that uh, when you used to come into the sport, it was stock eliminator, super stock. Now the ones that, that are newcomers into the sport, they jump right into super gas. A vast majority of the cars run a large cubic inch engine backed up by a two-speed automatic transmission. There are a few five-speed clutch cars, but consistency is the name of the game in super gas racing, and the automatic transmission has proven to be the more consistent. Most cars run in regional races, with a division title being the ultimate goal. But there are some who take super gas racing as seriously as some of the professional classes. Mike Furterer of Tacoma, Washington is the 1985 Super Gas World Champion. Mike, you used to drive dragsters. What's the difference between those cars and the car you've got now? Well, the competition in Super Gas is much more intense uh, than it was, I think, in the dragster. The dragster is obviously a lot faster ride and things happen a little quicker, but um, the Super Gas is just more competitive and it, uh, it leaves just about as hard as the dragster did, so you still get the rush of acceleration, but yet uh, uh, the competition is so much more keener in Super Gas. How do you rate the Canadian competitors? Well, I'll tell you what, they're uh, as tough as any I've ever run into. The people in the Northwest, including the people that come out of Canada, are some of the, the most uh, competitive super gas cars that I'll ever run in the nation. Competition is very keen in the class, with some very, very close racing, but it's the large variety of race cars that make the class so popular to the spectator. One of the neat things about Super Gas is the great variety of cars. Rod Teeger, uh, this is a two-door station wagon, but it didn't originally come like that, right? No, it didn't. Uh, Chevrolet never built a two-door wagon. This was uh, done by ourselves, my brothers and I, uh, due to a rollover crash that happened right here in Seattle. And uh, we were going to build a different car and put it on this chassis. The main thing was that it was uh, too expensive to put another body on it, so we decided to fix this one, and we thought we'd do something a little different and make it into a two-door. With the class running a 990 index, it gives race cars longer lives. The driver knows that he won't have to make a major change to the car to make it competitive from year to year. Make the car as consistent as possible, then work on the driving consistency, hope for a little luck, and you may come out a winner in super gas.